the Huntington Library, Art Museum, and Botanical Gardens announced on Monday a major acquisitions partnership with the Amundsen Foundation, which will fund the purchase of important European and American works of art, the Huntington said. In an interview, Huntington President Karen R. Lawrence wouldn't reveal a dollar amount for the funding, which the museum called significant. She did say that over 45 years, the Amundsen Foundation has given the Huntington almost $30 million, ballpark, toward the institution's art galleries, library and gardens. The agreement is ongoing, Lawrence said, and it's for the Amundsen to help the Huntington acquire historic masterpieces, so it's about the quality of the paintings and what they'll add to the Huntington's collections, complementing and supplementing our collections. The Huntington has already acquired one work with funds from the new partnership, Thomas Cole's 19th century masterwork Portage Falls on the Genesee. The grand, 7 foot by 5 foot painting is the first work by Cole in the museum's collection. Last year the Amundsen Foundation quite publicly ended its long-time partnership with the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, where it had been the largest donor of European old master paintings and sculptures. The Amundsen was dissatisfied with how LACMA director Michael Govan is reformatting the museum, particularly how the new, Peter Tsum tour design building under construction won't permanently display key works from the museum's encyclopedic art collection. The Amundsen's gift program paid for 114 paintings and 15 sculptures at LACMA. The Amundsen also underwrote LACMA's purchase of a signature work, Georges de Latour's painting The Magdalene with a Smoking Flame, circa 1635-37. The Amundsen has supported the Huntington since 1976. Amundsen funding has gone toward the Huntington's $10. The final $24 million-plus phase of the Chinese Garden debuted in fall 2020.